We have several more NHL deadline deals to discuss today, including Wayne Simmons, Denton Heinen, plus we have some waiver claims to discuss as well, and we'll touch on a couple quick rumors and deals we might see later before the deadline closes. We'll get on all that coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have some more breaking news, several more trades to discuss, as well as a couple of waiver claims that took place a couple of hours ago. It's been an extremely busy day. Trying my best to get everything caught up here and keep ahead of the news, but there's been all kinds of activities. I'm sure most of you watching this probably know. So let's dive in to the latest deals here that have been reported. Wayne Simmons has been traded from the New Jersey Devils over to the Buffalo Sabres. He did have a partial no trade clause, so that did need to be waived in order to facilitate the trade to go to the Buffalo Sabres. In return, New Jersey receives from Buffalo a fifth round pick, and that can be upgraded to a fourth rounder if the Sabres make the playoffs and Simmons plays in at least 10 games before the end of the year. Uh, so the odds of the Sabres making the playoffs are pretty slim. So more than likely, that remains a fifth rounder. So a fifth round pick for Wayne Simmons is an excellent deal. Uh, Wayne Simmons obviously had to agree to the trade, get some closer to home. Um, I'm hearing the possibility of him signing an extension to stay there might be in the work. So I guess we'll have to remain to be seen on that. Odd to see Buffalo actually being a buyer on the deadline, considering they're pretty well out of the playoffs. I did not expect that at all. I'm not surprised Simmons was dealt, but the fact he went to Buffalo, I did find rather surprising. And so, of course, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Were you surprised in the Wayne Simmons trade going to the Sabres? I did not expect them to be buyers today at all. Now, we also saw a trade between division rivals in the Atlantic, the Habs, and the Senators. Uh, the Ottawa Senators have acquired center iceman Matthew Pekka from Montreal in exchange for prospect Aaron Luchak in a seventh round selection. Now, with the other deals that Ottawa's made today, left them short at the forward position. I believe they left them with only 11 forwards on the active roster. Uh, Bobby Ryan is getting close to returning. Uh, he's been practicing with the team the last number of weeks. As he returns from personal leave after battling a lot of personal issues, uh, so he was likely expected to play sometime this week, but uh, it wasn't quite clear if it was going to be tonight's game or not. So uh, obviously picking up Pekka gives them more flexibility. He's a pending UFA as well, so he can fill a spot for the remainder of the year, and they can uh, see if it's a player they want to keep around or not, but a uh, very low risk. Of course, Lushak was just uh, reacquired by the Senators uh, in another separate trade just in the past couple days. And the seventh round pick isn't really much. They've got tons of picks anyway. So overall, this is really just to fill a roster spot for Ottawa for the short term. And obviously the Habs didn't see Pekka fitting into their longer term plan. So pretty minor deal on that front. Now for the waiver claims, we saw the Detroit Red Wings put on a claim to get Dmitry Timoshov from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Apparently it's also been reported that Timoshov had been requesting a trade from the Leafs because he has not been playing a whole lot. Uh, obviously uh, the Maple Leafs have gone through a lot of changes, especially since Mike Babcock was fired and how they're organizing their roster. Uh, and Timoshov oftentimes this year found himself a healthy scratch, the odd man out. So they clearly uh, were not able to facilitate a trade, thought they put him through the waiver wire, which helps the team out anyway in clearing a spot. I uh, mean, you know, ability to send them to the minors, etc. And instead, Detroit claims them. Of course, the Red Wings have made other deals today, so clearly they could use another forward, and we'll see how that pans out as well. And the Anaheim Ducks also claimed Andrew Agazino on waivers today as well. Anybody else that we mentioned yesterday that were on waivers did end up clearing today. It was just those two players changing uniforms for today. Now, the other trade is a little bit more significant here. The Anaheim Ducks and the Boston Bruins have hooked up again. Of course, we saw them on a previous trade here just in the last couple days with the David Backus trade going uh, from Boston to Anaheim for Andre Kasha as well as some draft picks in there. Uh, they've swung another deal, swapping forwards with the Boston Bruins trading young forward Danton Heinen to the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for forward Nick Ritchie. It's been rumored that the Bruins might move one of their younger forwards like a Heinen or an Anders Bjork, one of those guys. It was not a huge shock that way. Uh, Nick Ritchie's a little bit more of a physical forward, can certainly play a little bit of different style of game. Uh, really, I think for the most part, Ritchie's a player who came into the NHL with a little bit more of a higher expectation, hasn't quite lived up to things in Anaheim, but he can give you 10 to 15 goals, uh, play a physical style. So I think he'll fit in nicely. Uh, a little like I said, just a different player then Heinen, I'm not really sure we can call it much of an upgrade. It's got maybe more of a, of a change, I guess, and we'll see if the change in scenery can get both players playing here. Heinen at times has played very well for the Bruins as well and could end up getting an even bigger role with Anaheim, uh, considering that Bob Murray, the GM, there's really signaled that they're going through uh, more of a rebuild. So the younger players likely to get more 
of an opportunity here in the near future. Pretty big news earlier on Twitter from TSN's Frank Saravalli indicating that he has information to suggest that the Islanders might be working on a significant deal with the Minnesota Wild to obtain Zach Parise, uh, who apparently is willing to waive his no trade clause to go to Long Island and be reunited with his old GM from New Jersey, Lou Lamarillo. Uh, so we'll see. We're waiting for more details if that's actually a done deal, what all the moving parts are. There were some suggestions that Andrew Ladd might be going the other way. Uh, if he agrees to waive his no trade, but uh, obviously that's not a completed deal. It's uh, right now just a, a rumor that a lot of talks are ongoing and they're trying to get a deal done. But I guess we'll have to wait to be seen. There will be an additional video later on should that actually take place. And there's also been the talk that Andreas Anthony Siu is on his way out of Detroit as well. So we're just waiting for those final details and that'll be discussed in the next video here as well. So lots of activity today. I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Make sure you let me know what you think on all these deals and we'll continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss any more breaking news on NHL trade deadline 2020. I'll keep you up to date with all the latest news and analysis on all the trades on NHL trade deadline. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.